Peter Bruegel the Younger's paintings are as popular today as they were in his own time. Here we have a swirling group of dancers in the foreground, the women's headgear flying out, and to the right, a man with a flagon of beer is trying to get the bagpipe player even more drunk than he no doubt already is. You have a fight broken out, and further down, someone else wants to join in with his sword, and everyone's holding him back. In the distance, there's an alley of trees that recedes towards the horizon. This is the most unusual thing to see in Bruegel, and I think he was experimenting with the idea of projecting the peasant feast extending into infinity. This, if ever there was one, is a signature painting. This was an age in which magnification, for the first time, made it possible for artists to paint really detailed paintings of very small things. What we see here is all these bugs and creepy crawlies coming out of a piece of wood in the upper right corner and then miraculously forming the artist's name, Jan van Kessel. Willem van der Velde the Younger was the greatest marine painter of the Dutch Golden Age. He was particularly prized for his depiction of calms. This is a magical evocation of a summer's day on the Dutch coastline. In the foreground, there are men who are preparing this little vessel for sale. Perhaps they're responding to the cannon shot from the man of war in the background. We can see from the flags just beginning to lift that the weather is changing. In the background, cumulonimbus clouds pile up. Wind is coming. Adrian Cortes' still life paintings are always immensely simple in their composition and in their subject matter. Although he uses a neutral black background here, he was not afraid of colour, the russet reds, the oranges, the yellows and the greens. The red admiral butterfly above the peaches seems to have no formal relationship with them, and there is no logic as to what it's doing there, but it imbues the composition with a tension that would otherwise be completely lacking. He painted his subjects in immense detail and with immense care. They are literally timeless images. Mm -hmm.